welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 218. I'm your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Lurka Cat. Hey guys! Hey Lurka, how are you doing? I'm good. How about you? I'm good, I'm good. So, last week you were not on. I'm guessing party? Yeah, I was down in Glasgow traumatizing the people of Glasgow. It was good. Met loads of people. It was really nice. They all beat me at laser tag. Oh, laser tag. That's part of... I don't know what to call it. It's a laser tag. You shoot people with lasers, right? Yep. And to add insult to injury, we were put into two teams and we were playing against smaller children. And the smaller children beat me! Specifically one with the code name Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff bet my ass. <laughs> Let me guess, was it a Pikachu on the team too? There was a Poison Ivy and a Harley Quinn. I felt betrayed. They cornered me. Literally, a pack of little girls cornered me. And they were all shooting me! <laughs> uh, what happened to girls sticking together? Uh, they are Poison Ivy and Harley Quinn. So... Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, Jigglypuff, Sparkles. <laughs> there was a Sparkles there. Sparkles. Uh, yes, Sparkles. Nice. I... I... No comment, no comment. But still, glad to know that you had fun. I survived, yes. yes. <laughs> and talking about fun and surviving, Will's not with us this week because, well, he's at a convention. More specifically, uh, MLP, MSP? Uh, I think that's Mother Little Pony Mississippi Con, something like that, if I'm correct. Hope to have him on next week so we can ask him about the funsies that he and getting juicy, juicy yes. gossip. The convention scene are really, really good for gossiping. <laughs> oh yeah, I get to know what's yep, all going yep. down. Yep, yep. Oh, I want photo evidence, but yeah, that could be asked Oh, well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, by the way, Lurk, how was your week? How was your week? Eh, yeah, it was alright. Uneventful, other than playing mm-hmm. Dishonored, which I started How is it? On. Do you like it? <laughs> I do, I do. I'm just waiting to see if the characters I suspect as being actual villains turn out to be villains. I've played Bioshock enough to know that the actual villains are not the villains, and the people that you thought were your friends are your villains, so I'm completely and utterly paranoid uh, now. If I do remember right, that game has a lot of politics in it, so it depends on who you side with. Oh, if no! If I do remember right, because it's been a while since I played that game. Either way, trust no one! <laughs> true that, true that. Oh, and there's multiple ways you can deal with the final boss. Like, it'll be fun to see how you can deal with him. I can imagine I'll have just gone through the proper psychotic route and everyone will be like, no, you should have been totally nice or done a pacifist route and it would have been a better ending. Technically, usually that's the case, but eh, you play how you play. Covered in blood. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, as for me, my week has been pretty okay. Um, It's, well, nothing new. I've been fasting because of Ramadan and, well, I've been hungry for most of the day, but at night I get to eat. So, yay. Yay. And Night feast. Yes, food are good. Food are good. But that's besides the point. Nobody really is interested in my week. So, we'll carry oh, on. Oh, that's not true, Norman. They tune in to listen to you. So, of course, they're interested in your week. Yeah, true. I mean, other than the food thing, um, video games on Overwatch and Street Fighter Five, But nobody's really interested in me talking about it because it would be one-sided of me to talk about how Tracer is really good and stuff and how Diva is just totally awesome oh, and how... Some people at work were saying that some people don't like Overwatch and I have not heard of this because obviously I've just mm. heard you and Will going on about Overwatch and other people that have played Overwatch like Overwatch so I've not... I don't know who these people are but apparently somewhere in the world there are people that don't like Overwatch oh. and I don't understand why. It's normal because people are allowed to like some thing and well overwatch is not for everyone i have a friend who's not interested in overwatch because (gasps) he doesn't like first person shooters and it's not the case where he doesn't like it because he doesn't like the genre he just can't play the genre because every time he plays something like that he starts to throw up (laughs) Oh, that's such a shame. Yeah, I know. So basically... You're one of the people that played Portal and got physically sick then. Oh, no, not me. But he just can't do it. He just can't do it. Yeah, just keep him away from Portal, especially when you get to flinging. Trust me, I I just can't do Portal with a joypad. Like, how do even? Oh, Portal's so fun, though. I love Portal. Yeah, I I I like Portal, too. It's just the way of thinking, how do I solve this problem? I love that, though, that it just totally breaks 
your thinking patterns of what normally works and you have to sort of bend the rules a little bit mm, to sort of yeah. work out how things work. It's like, oh, like conserving momentum and flying through stuff. It's like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then just getting totally disorientated when you're flinging upwards through a portal and you're falling down a minute ago. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. oh so much love. And, and so much other things too with that game. But we're getting into a video game podcast scene. So oh, no. Let's get back to something more fun. Did you watch Deadpool? Of course I watched Deadpool. <laughs> uh, Deadpool was a fun movie. And his love of unicorns and everyone at work going, Look! Look! They did it! It's like, of course I've seen the unicorn, but I saw it before you even clicked what was going on. Unicorn lady is on point. <laughs> uh, true that, true that. Uh, but still, Deadpool is fun. And previously on the show, we mentioned about Deadpool... Having a brony cam, not really brony cameo, but a brony shout out. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. It was way really back when, I don't really remember. But he did it again. Yeah, this doesn't surprise me, especially with the whole unicorn thing in the film. Everyone would be going, I've seen a few Pinkie Pie and Deadpool pairings, so it doesn't surprise me at all that they would get mentioned again or brony would get thrown around in Deadpool comic. Yeah, it's to be expected nowadays. And especially yeah. with how popular the Bruni scene is to get a mention or to get some kind of to get more attention it's just smart yeah you don't just exclude by the way this in the recent Deadpool comic um, Deadpool 2016 issue of Deadpool uh, issue 6 if I remember right he made a shout out and not really a shout out but he made a mention mentioned the word Bruni but that's enough for us yeah he did mention us and it was just a passing scene nothing to be riled up at or to be Rah rah! It's just a shout out. And talking about comic books, Comic Exposure announced a exclusive San Diego Comic Con cover for the forty fourth issue of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. And in this issue, oh my god! Lurk, do you remember the movie Labyrinth? Do I remember the movie Labyrinth? <laughs> that is such a silly, silly question, Norman. <laughs> I remember as a child, David Bowie, those trousers <laughs> did not go well together, but that was the first time I was introduced to Bulge. Oh. It should be turned into a drinking game. Oh. Every time you see David Bowie and them trousers, drink. Oh, wow. The 44th issue of the cover. I, I'm not 100% sure if this is a pure exclusive, because they're showing two pictures of it now on the screen or on EQD, and it's one is with the cover but in a small bounded box and one is with well in a normal comic form so i'm not sure if this is going to be a pure exclusive or what but i hope i get to get this cover too because oh my god this is just awesome if you remember labyrinth and its movie poster it's the same and i it's just so good but then, does that mean that Discord's going to steal Angel and then officially get rid of Angel, which we've all kind of been doing? So, some people really want Angel out of the way. <laughs> like, hey, I wouldn't mind making him into a stew. Oh my god, you're not the only one, because Silver Quill has the same thing too, and he really dislikes Angel. I really don't like the bunny. He's a cute bunny, but I think he would taste good, and he should be eaten rather than have saved. <laughs> Uh, no. The bear is a nicer pet than the bunny is. <laughs> no, no. Yes, that's true, but no, we don't hurt animals. We don't hurt animals. And, but we uh, eat them, but it's fine. No comment. But going to the next segue, um, talking about San Diego Comic Con, uh, IDW My Little Pony comic cover artist Mary Bella, Bellamy, Bellamy. Bellamy announced that she'll be selling limited... Postcard prints. Yeah, postcard prints. If you do go there... And you do see what she has on sale. Go to EQD and check it out. Because she'll be there at San Diego Comic Con. And she'll be having a small booth at booth number N04. I'm not sure where, but if you do, she'll be there with postcard size prints. Oh god, I do want them. Because there's one picture of Rainbow Dash being a millionaire and being frustrated that <laughs> she's not doing it right, something like that. It's like Derpy's just been beaten and Rainbow's like, look, look, I'm stuffing it full of letters. You're too slow, Derpy. Too slow. But that's not right. That's not the right, right dress. It's like, I love it. Just stuff all the letters in the mailbox. All of them. All the ones. Now. Yeah. And this one I like here where it's Twilight Sparkle, Sunset Shimmer, 
Um, oh yeah, her proteges. Yeah, yeah. Well, who's the other one? Oh, mm. You've got Starlight Glimmer, Sunset Shimmer, and Twilight. What's the other one besides her? Besides her, there's only two, Norm. No, no, no. Look, there's Twilight Sparkle. <gasps> oh, right at the bottom. Yeah. With Trixie, Starlight. Then you've got Moon. Moon Dancer. Dancer I think, yeah, with... yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the top left with Sun. Oh, uh, those Star three. Oh, those. Yeah, they're nice. That's cute. Well, all the big eyes, and they're so tiny. Yeah, and. It's a postcard size, so if you buy them, you, you can store them easily. So this is cool. I wish I could go to San Diego Comic Con. Everyone needs to get the Discord one with Fluttershy in his hand. Oh, Do it yeah. now. And the thing is with this one, it's quote-unquote um, Discord and his collection of the Funko Pops. <laughs> but then, he obviously likes Fluttershy the best because she is the best pony, so... True that, true that. Confirmed. Discord thinks so, so therefore it's true. Yes. Sorry, Applejack fans. Yep, yep, true that. But still, but still, with, well, like I said, I wish I could go to San Diego Comic Con, or at least know someone who's going there so I can ask them to get these postcards for me. I mean... Hint, hint, get Norman the postcards. Trust me, the last time we did it, nobody did it. Oh, this is why you have to go and rob banks, Norman, and get money and fly no. over. Or at least allow me to do so, so I could go over. I'll get you, Prince, brah. I'll set you up. No, we don't. Yeah. We don't do those kind of acts. No. No, not we, just me. It's fine. I'll not include you at all. You won't be my accomplice. Ah, oh, God. Just help me hide the evidence. No. Uh, and, yes. And talking about things getting robbed, and no, this is a back set way. <laughs> I, I don't know how to do segways. <laughs> Speaking of money transfer. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Game Loft was so vivid. <laughs> yeah, uh, what she said was Game Loft sold to the Vendi. Uh, yeah. See, it wasn't robbed, there was an exchange on the go. Yeah. A perfectly legal one. Mm hmm. And, well. But Vendi is, if I do remember right, there are people who, let me see, formerly known as Vivendi Universal, uh, it's a French multinational mass media company headquarters in Paris, France, and this company is, uh, oh, well, basically they're a multimedia company who does a lot of things related to music, television, film, video games, telecommunications, uh, ticketing, and video hosting service. Huh, Vivendi's pretty old. They're like 163 years old now. Huh, cool. Oh, so they must have started off with like board games and cards and stuff. Apparently, according to Kylie, uh, Nintendo was the same before it started going into consoles. Nah, Nintendo was mostly... Well, they started out as a Hanafuda card manufacturer... And then they went into um, board games and also one of those gimmick kind of games. And if I do remember right, they also got the license to uh, localize and distribute Hasbro products like Twister and other Oh, like Twister. Such a good game. Such a painful game to play if you don't do yoga or are very fit. Yes, that is true. But on <laughs> on back to the news. Uh, if you guys at home do remember us talking way back when in the earlier years of the show, uh, Gameloft. Gameloft is the developers that did the My Little Pony mobile game. Those tap to put ponies on screen and make them go to town and stuff. I, I don't know. It's been a while. You played it before? Um, I don't think I've come across it. No, I'll have to go and look. Oh, trust me, you don't need to because it's a money grab. I don't need to. Okay, then I'll not bother. I've got plenty of mobile games anyway that I play consistently for a month and then decide to give up on, so it's probably better I don't get addicted to something else. For people at home who are curious at it, from a personal point of view, I don't recommend it. It's a lot of... What's the word I'm looking for? It takes a lot of time to grow your town, and it takes a lot of... I wouldn't say real-world cash. It's a mobile game, so the... Yeah. That's normal with mobile games, though, especially if you want to spend more time in it than, and you're impatient, then yeah. obviously you've got the option to have real money that can be converted into the rare things mm. like gems and stuff that will buy your um, turns and whatnot. Yeah. Or speed them up or whatnot. But it, yeah. it's a free game. It's free for you to play around with. But 
if you do appreciate the game, yeah, you have five bucks here, five bucks there, just to say good job and then done, be done with it. Yeah, it's one of those things. But uh, on on point again, uh, recently Game Love was sold to Vivendi, and this is not a really how do I put this, not a real good transfer because the way that Game Love was bought was kind of a hostile takeover. So, oh my. yeah, not good. Because from the news here, the Guillemont family that owns the label before... Guillemont, I think it is. Yeah, Guillemont family. They sold their remaining shares to Vivendi, which has been in a battle to take over the company for some time now. And now Vivendi owns 56% of the voting shares. And, well, 56% of the voting share is... a big percentage if they mm-hmm. say yes and the others say no they still win yeah and vice versa. even though it doesn't seem like much it is a little <laughs> bit more than the rest mm-hmm. true but that. the fact that it's been going on for some time it's like hmm geez this is one of those cases where if we don't know where this could go maybe it could lead to a very positive outcome for the pony games or others but hey if you're interested in well the game let's hope they change it for the better if not now is your time to quit yeah all you could do i suppose is just wait and see to see what um they produce they might produce better quality games and maybe worse you don't know until you just wait and see because some people are like oh no this is going to ruin that change when when where <laughs> cough cough yay cough cough yeah <laughs> but still <laughs> yeah but still um Ending on a good note, if you do play the game, they recently had a update version 2.9, and it now has fashion show and more added. So, what can you expect in the new update? A fashion show, craft out and complete collection to earn prize, complete all the collection in time to win a special bundle. I got no idea what's that, I'm just reading from the news here. New characters. Give. It'll be something in the game that allows you to buy more stuff. Probably. And another one is new characters. Give a warm welcome to Charity Kindheart, Windrider, and Mistyfly, Gustav Lagrant, and more as they rush to join your Equestria. Yay, more characters. I, <laughs> I'm just reading from news here. Uh, it's like two new shops. Assign your ponies to the strawberry shop and pony pavilion. New decorations, beautify your equestria and the crystal sculpture, alicorn figure, sands of time, and other dazzling decorations. Boom. Yay. <laughs> so if you do play it, there's an update. So yay. If not, um, good on you too. Well, oh well. Yeah. Hooray for not <laughs> participating in mobile games. Yay. yay. Mobile games. But honestly, mobile games are, well, okay, here's the thing. I'm not interested in mobile games, but what I am interested in was... I noticed that I recently found my classic DS and on that DS they had Tetris Attack and oh my god was that a treat just waiting in the bank just waiting in line and stuff like playing Tetris Attack killed time ah that was a good game and what happened to the days of handheld gaming you know portable gaming mobile games are starting to take over the handheld gaming I would say more and more. But what happened? I mean, it's like... Mobile phones. Yeah, I know, but still... Like, come on, you have the 3DS or the 2DS or the whatever DS Nintendo has in store for us. And you got the Pokemon games and you also have the Monster Hunter games and also had whatever else they have on in store. Like, come on, those are good games. You do. Yeah, but it's like for... Wider demographic, mobile phones, quicker and easier to have. They've always got it on them. I won't lie, because I do like my mobile games. I do like just to sort of flip it on and just have a little uh, gander and hmm. muck about, then wait for my turns, and then when I've forgotten about it, and then I can go back to it. Because don't have as much free time as what I used to, to play mm-hmm. handheld games and stuff, because I'm working, or I'm drawing, or I'm doing something else. So I don't get to sit down often and play games. So yeah. Dishonored is probably going to take me forever to finish. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I, I got a question for you, Lurker. Land it on me. What is on your phone in terms of games? Um, 
I've got one called Fishdom, which is basically a match three and get rid of them sort of color ones. And what else have I got? I've got a sort of Pokemon ripoff one called Mino Monsters 2. Play that one. I've also got a game called Survival, where it's just basically text turn based and you have to try and survive the wilderness and not die. That's fun. I've had many, 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 many pass through my mobile phone and I get bored. I used to have one called Hungry Shark where you just go and eat everything. <laughs> that was fun. Just be a giant shark. You get to chase after people and eat them and the blood and the guts everywhere. It's glorious. Hmm, alright. And as for me on my phone, I only have one. And... Just one? Yeah, one. And I don't oh, think God, I've been just... playing that. Like, I have Diamond Dash on it and I haven't played that in years. I think I want to delete it. Yeah, you may as well. I'm always going through, ah, oh, delete that. I used to have the Jurassic Park builders as well, and Jurassic World builder. Because dinosaurs, yo, dinosaurs are the best. Yeah, and I also noticed that I don't go out that much, so I'm always at home doing work. And also, I drive to commute. So the chances of me playing a game while driving. <laughs> well, yeah, you, we don't do that while driving, Norman. I'm not that good at multitasking because I drive to commute as well. It's if I'm uh, being bad at work and I'm not actually working and I have a chance on my phone, then I'm in the office. That's when I'll play games. Or if I'm sitting, <laughs> chilling, waiting for someone, I'll play games. Mm. Or if I'm just about to go to bed, I'll play games. If I get up in the morning, I'll play games. With me and what I do, when I go to bed, before I head off to bed, I like to lay down in bed, prop up the tablet and read a few fanfics before I head off to bed. And I do read a few and that's why I could recommend a few on the show sometimes. And, well, it depends. Uh, I do like to game sometimes. And if you heard me babble on, Overwatch is one of those games and Street Fighter V. I should be playing Uncharted 4, but... Oh, you have Uncharted 4! Mm, here's the thing. I can get it. I don't have it. I don't have the cash for it. Norman, you have to get it for me. You have to get it. I can't get it because I don't have PlayStation 4. Please get it and tell me how good I it is. I will. I will. And who knows? Maybe soon because I've been on a gaming binge lately. I've been thinking about recording myself playing or doing something for... Yeah, who knows? We'll see. Uh, I'd watch it and then I would cry. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I just need to get the recording done and whatnot. It's one of those things where I want to do it, but hardware limitation and things are just not allowing it. Oh, that's a shame. But who knows? One day, one day. But besides that, I think we already run our course. We have nothing to talk more on, and we're kind of babbling. That's normal for us, though, Norman. We're always babbling. True that, true that. We're like the babbling brook of game stuff. Yeah. We should really do a gaming podcast, but nah, I, I'm not motivated yeah. for it. Ponies, yes. Gaming, not really. <laughs> yeah, like, what do you have to say about gaming? I like video games, why? Colors and concept art, oh. yay! Have you anything useful to add? No! I know one <laughs> thing about video games. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, start. <laughs> yes. Yes, and with that, it activates the credits. If you would like to contact us, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at the NBA show at gmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, and my Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. I always try to tweet about stuff because, hmm, stuff. I noticed that. My Twitter account is not linking in with my Instagram anymore, and I'm oh. just hmm, puzzled. So I'll try to get it back on track, but you can also reach me on Instagram under the same name. I tweet about, well, I mostly post about things that interest me, like toys, food, and whatever tickles my fancy, but yeah. I'm one track that way. So anyway, um, there's at Norman Sanzo. And Lurk, where can the people find you? You can find me at lurkcat.deviantart.com or facebook.com forward slash Highland Boys. Ah, all right, then. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. And I would like to mention that 
the MBS show reviews and discussion podcast is on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Please go subscribe to that because on that show, we talk about the newest episodes. We talk and discuss and review on them. And also the comics, the MLP Pony comics. If you have ever wondered if it's worth the read, well, you can listen to our reviews and hear our opinions on it. Usually, we like them and usually we don't. No, want to know why? Listen to it. It's fun. Lots of banter and tomfoolery there to be found. Go boss. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Lurker Cat. And we'll catch you guys next week with another amazing episode of the MBS Show. See ya. Bye.